So what business can I start with a thousand dollars? And is hot sauce a profitable business to start? Well, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how you can launch a basic, simple hot sauce business from home without you making it and doing it for less than a thousand dollars. I want to dive into how that works right now. All right, guys, so welcome back to Marketing Food Online. So in this video, I'm actually excited to answer a subscriber's question. He was excited about starting a food type of business, but wasn't sure exactly what to do, but he had like an extra $1,000. So his email was, Damien, I've got about $1,000, but I'm trying to figure out what would be a great food business to start, but something where I can do it from home, but I can't do a lot because of course, under cottage food laws, you can't make certain types of foods from home. Is there a way to operate a business from home and create a food business? And yes, there is. And I'm actually going to walk you through these several steps. If you've got about $1,000 and you're looking to start something as a side business, and this is a great way, by the way, if you want to launch a hot sauce business, but you want to at least get the wheels moving if you've got kind of stuck in a rut at home and you can't produce certain types of foods, and sometimes hot sauces is, is one of them, this is a great way to get going. And I'll explain to you how you actually handle the logistics, the shipping and everything. And you can do this for around $1,000. It's actually a little bit less, but I'm going to break it down for you. So number one, the first thing you need to do, of course, with any business, no matter if it's a food business or selling other products or services, is you need to have a business license. Okay. Now, on average, when you get a home based business license, they could range between about $100 to about $200. Now that's just an average in some states it's around, I know here in, in where we live, it's around $175 to $150 if you're looking to have a home-based business license. So anywhere from about 100 to 200, and that could potentially be slightly higher in some other places. But if it's way, way more than that, then there's something unusual about your license. <laughs> so it's about 100 to 200 bucks. Number two, you need to create an LLC, okay? You need to have food business insurance. Now creating an LLC on average, again, you can do it for the state fees, are normally between about 190 to actually about $320. We found some that were a little bit slightly higher, but some that were actually a little bit lower. So for around $200, you can create that LLC. And as a matter of fact, if you need help doing that, you can even do it online. We actually have a ton of resources down below this video, by the way. All of our videos, we have all additional resources and blogs and our website and podcasts. So check down below the video, it'll give you some additional help as well, so you can understand how this works. So number two is you're gonna have that LLC. No matter what type of food business, you need to have a limited liability, at least that's what I would recommend. When we formed our food business over 14 years ago, we started off as an LLC. We've now transitioned to an S Corp, we're an S Corporation now, but the LLC was the most simplest way to form a business entity. Plus, the amount of protection you're going to get as a business, it separates the liability from you personally and allows your business to absorb any legal issues if there ever happens to be something that pops up. So keep that in mind that your LLC formation is simple, gives you great protection, and it's fast and easy to create. There's not really a lot of technical stuff involved. Now, insurance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Damien, I know I've heard about food business insurance policies that are probably a few hundred dollars, so over a thousand or more. So how can you actually open a hot sauce business and do this for a thousand dollars or less? Here's the thing. Not all insurance companies require a full year's insurance premium payment up front. Believe it or not, they don't. Actually, the company that we, we do our business with, they don't. We pay it by the month, and our premium's around 42 to $43. So when you initiate that insurance uh, uh, actual policy, you don't have to come up with the, it's about 600 plus dollars a year, running around 600 bucks. You don't need to come up with that right off the front, right off the gate. So you can get this started, like I said, within that thousand dollar price range, and you can do it for that first premium payment, it's probably gonna be around 40 to 50 bucks, okay? Now again, I'm not an insurance policy, I'm not an insurance uh, agent, I'm not gonna try to sell you a policy. I'm basing this, of course, on my own experience, and then knowing that you just need a basic coverage for your product liability, you shouldn't be anywhere more above and beyond about between five to 600 to 650. You shouldn't be anywhere in the, in the range of those, okay? And breaking down by the month, monthly premium, it's gonna be around 40 and change, okay? So you got the one to $200, you got your $40, and you're, in, you're launching this for about 200 bucks for your LLC. Next up, third, do not create a website right off the bat. Don't do that just yet. So here's the reason why. You want the third, the third step is going to be either eBay or Amazon. These are going to be the two platforms I recommend you hop on first. Why is that so important, Damien? I really just want to have my own website. Having a website is great. Don't get me wrong. Down the road, you should have a website. But when you launch this at first, if you create a website tomorrow and it's the most amazing website on the planet, has great pictures, 
It's user friendly, has some great features, you can check out very easily, blah, 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 blah. That's not the point. The point with it is, is that you're not gonna get any traffic to your website. I know this firsthand because the first time I ever sold anything online, it was on eBay. And we started to sell our cookies, we started to sell baked goods, and I started to get some momentum, and I knew nothing about e-commerce 14 plus years ago. And at that time, I didn't realize that having a website is not that big of a deal. It's not when you first start. It's not something that's going to bring you money. It's not going to bring you orders because no one's going to know where to find your website. You're not going to get found on Google. You can have all the SEO on the planet unless you're running paid ads, which is going to put you out of the market of this, this budget. Running paid ads or if you are extremely good at SEO, even that, you still need to have time in order for Google to actually index your site. So the idea of having a website right off the bat is not something I recommend. Going to eBay or Amazon and immediately opening up a hot sauce storefront, if you will, you're going to have access to their clientele and their customer base. Every month, eBay gets millions of customers. And believe it or not, there's probably a few hundred thousand people who actually go there specifically for hot sauce. I wouldn't doubt it. There might even be more than that. Amazon's the same thing. Spices, herbs, hot sauces, marinades, ketchups, condiments, mustards, all that kind of stuff, relishes, all of those things people go online to find. Now, if you're on these platforms without a website, that's okay when you first start. That's okay because they're going to bring you traffic. That's the whole point. These websites have constant traffic already built in. And by the way, what does it cost to do this? Well, to business, a business seller's account on Amazon a month is $39.99. eBay's is, I believe, it's been quite a few years since I filled out the application. I believe we're, we're charged like $20 or $30, somewhere around there too a month for a business, business account not just an account, a business account, okay? And the reason why I say that is that there's a lot of other features, of course, that these platforms give you when you actually operate a business account as opposed to just an individual seller account. But again, this is important. This is the whole point of the video. Within $1,000, it's gonna be $39 a month. So even if you did both of them, then you're looking at around $59 to $60, okay? And this is the start. Now, next step, fourth, private label your hot sauce. This is the part that comes in where you're not making it. Believe it or not, there are a ton of hot sauce private label companies that have extremely low minimums. When I say extremely low minimums, as a matter of fact, I'll put a link below this video. There's a blog where I have these all listed, these websites, and I'll show you all of this information in recap. But I'll have a couple links there to a few of these websites that I've actually looked at into and we're even contemplating ourselves, my wife and I, of launching a hot sauce business. And these websites have ridiculously low minimums. What does that mean, Damien? That means that you can buy, buy the case, and that would be 12 or maybe 24 bottles at a time of a specific flavor. And you can pick up, some of these websites have 12 to 14 or 16 variations of pre-made hot sauces. This is, goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. If you have a recipe for your hot sauce, but it's really hard, you can't really do it at home because maybe your state doesn't allow certain acidic foods or some type of thing going on where you can't do it from your cottage food within your state, you can at least get the wheels moving, right? And get their recipe, but put your label, your logo, and your name on it and get the wheels going, get the momentum going. And then down the road, you're making enough money potentially that you can get yourself renting a commercial kitchen on a regular basis or maybe create a commercial kitchen of your own or start your own business. But the idea is to get started. And again, I'm gonna keep you within this $1,000 budget and this is an actual business that you can launch. The other great thing, by the way, you can literally get this up and running within about 30 days, maybe even less, okay? Because here's the thing. Once you apply for your business license, this may take actually the longest time. You're looking at maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of business weeks, right? Or maybe five to 10 business days. LLC, by the way, this can be done. LLC can be done in a matter of minutes and you've got proof of LLC. Insurance, you buy the policy, you can actually get the instantaneous download that you are insured. The moment you pay for the policy and it's activated, you're good, okay? This is almost instantly. So LLC, instant business, okay. And eBay and Amazon, you just have to build out your store. Now keep in mind, all these things are going to be within budget, but you have to put the time into doing it. This isn't magically going to make itself work. So you have to understand these basics, but of course, you're going to have to put some time and invest time into it, just like anything. So don't think this is like a get rich quick scheme or something, but you can definitely launch a business and you can begin to sell it. Okay. So eBay and Amazon, you create your stores. Amazon uh, to sell in the food and gourmet categories, you have to get ungated. That's a little bit of a process because you're going to have to just show proof of these things, business license and LLC. So. Take us to the next one, the fifth one, social media accounts. The only way outside of getting the traffic built into Amazon and eBay, the only way you're going to get additional people to even know that you exist is have social media presence. That's just a norm today. If you're selling a product or service, I don't care what it is, you have to have social media presence. Now, do you have to be a marketing media genius to have an account and get it exposed? 
No, you don't. The two that I recommend is Twitter and Facebook. I actually personally, our businesses, all of our businesses, we have accounts on all those platforms, but they don't all work the same. That's what I'm trying to tell you. If you're wanting to do the best, the things that bring us the most sales is gonna be Facebook and it's gonna be Twitter. Why is that so, Damien? Well, if you understand how to create posts, and if you don't, by the way, there's a book called 500 Social Media Tips and Tricks. It's what, what I use quite frequently. I use it, it's almost like the Bible for me when it comes to marketing. Uh, the additional tips that they have in there are over 500 tips for all the platforms. But they're very simple, very easy to implement. But if you use the right hashtags, believe it or not, hashtags are ridiculously powerful if you know which ones to use and where to use them. Facebook has groups. There are people who are actually, they're actually hot sauce groups, believe it or not, on Facebook that have thousands, some of them even have 50 to 60,000 people in those groups. And they're foodies. There's people who love fried foods, who put hot sauce, obviously, on anything. There are people who love bars and, and love the outdoors, love all this stuff. Camping, all these people use some type of seasoning herbs when they're cooking. There's chef uh, groups, there's people who love to cook at home. You become a member within Facebook once you've created your page dedicated to your hot sauce business. You're going to have a Facebook page and you need to start interacting on those groups. Engage with some of the posts. Then your Amazon and eBay listings, you're going to start posting those links onto those platforms, onto those groups, because those are the people who obviously want to buy hot sauce. And if you're selling hot sauce, it's a no brainer. By the way, it's free. Again, costs a little bit of time, but it's costing you no money. You're still within that $1,000 uh, budget. Twitter. Damien, why is Twitter so important? Believe it or not, going back to, again, using the right hashtags. Hashtag food, hashtag foodie, hashtag hot sauce, hashtag marinade, hashtag whatever barbecue. Anything that you can fathom that is associated with the use of hot sauce. We use Twitter on a regular basis for our Amazon store with our baked goods. And we use certain hashtags which trigger a lot of people's responses. So again, it's free, but they have a lot of engagement. That's the point, okay? Now, there's no guarantee that engagement converts to converted sales. You have to understand the difference. Engagement is great, but at the end of the day, engagement means nothing if it's not converting people to buy your product. I don't. I personally have always told my wife, I told uh, uh, clients when I talk to them on the phone, stop worrying about how many people like you. All the thumbs up and the hearts and the Google Gaga, all that stuff is nonsense. That doesn't pay my bills and that doesn't make me money. Those things are great stepping stones for people to convert to buyers. But at the end of the day, if they're not buying, I don't care how many people are following me. I'm in the business to make money. I don't want to be liked. I don't want people to put thumbs up. I don't want people to comment. All of those things are great, don't get me wrong. But at the end of the day, that's not what I'm out for. I want people to buy my products so I can pay my bills and make money, right? So that's, what I'm, that's the whole point, Twitter and Facebook. Now, next up is LinkedIn. I know this may sound weird, but I've always keep pushing LinkedIn. LinkedIn has been tremendous for our growth here on YouTube with marketing food online. And the reason why I say that is we have nearly 10,000 food industry connections. These are people who are buyers, people who are CEOs of grocery chains we're connected with, uh, celebrities. We actually have a few people that we were connected with as well who are foodies and love food. We have a lot of chefs. We have a lot of food brokers. All of those people have the opportunity to learn about your hot sauce and potentially buy it. You never know who you're gonna connect with on LinkedIn that could be a buyer for a grocery chain and they wanna try your hot sauce. Maybe they're gonna bring it into their stores. Maybe there's a restaurateur who has 10 different chicken wing spots and he wants to try one of your hot sauces. Again, it's all free guys, free. Create those accounts, start posting content, put links from your Amazon and eBay store back to it. Again, free. All right, number six, logistics. Okay, Damien, well all this sounds great, so logistics. But I can't bring a product that's made in a co-packer that's a food item back to my home, put it in my closet and start fulfilling orders online. So how does that work? Great question. That brings us back to Amazon and eBay and the idea of FBA. Whatever people are telling you about FBA, you can still make money with FBA. You just need to understand how to price the product to be profitable in FBA. FBA is a genius idea. Now, FBA is not the only fulfillment center on the planet and, and that one that you can take advantage of. Amazon offers FBA, which is fulfillment by Amazon, if you're not familiar with it. So you bring your, you take your product and the co-packer ships it over to Amazon's warehouse. They're gonna have the barcode obviously on the bottle. They're gonna scan that product as they receive it. They're gonna put it into their warehouse and then they're gonna fulfill the orders. That's what Amazon FBA is. Now, they do charge you a fee for that. Of course they do. But to make it profitable, you just need to price it right. Now, I'm not gonna get into the pricing of the product in this video. I'm showing you how to launch the business to get started with the $1,000 that you have. That's a whole separate video I'll do later. But FBA basically does the fulfillment for you. So you can operate the business side of your business from home without ever touching, making, shipping, handling, or doing any of that stuff with your product. 
just like any other type of product that you have. This is not drop shipping, by the way. This is nothing to do with drop shipping. So your physical product, your hot sauce business is now up and running and you have a product that's warehouse and FBA. Or you can find other fulfillment centers there all over the United States. And they're all inter inter intertwined with eBay, Amazon, even Etsy now, Walmart.com and Target. So those fulfillment centers can actually fulfill the orders for you. So you're not in your bedroom or you're thinking that you're going to do it out of your closet and shipping hot sauces out of there and shipping them out. You can't technically do that, okay? Um, so you've got the Facebook, you got the social media, and you got the logistics down. Number seven, you can ship it directly to retailers. Now, this is the other option. If you don't want to go the route of Amazon, eBay, or even any of that online, maybe you've got a grocery chain that you can send a sample. By the way, these private label companies have samples that you can actually get made up and they can get one or two bottles at a time to try them, to see how they look. They can have samples sent to you and you can start soliciting grocery stores and saying, look, I've got a private label company. I've started a hot sauce business. They could ship directly to the retailer for you. Now, that's probably on the bottom of the sign here. You probably can't see it, but it's there. Here it is. <laughs> so you can actually ship it directly to the retailer itself if you don't want to go the route of Amazon, eBay and such. OK, so again, you've got minimum order requirements, very simple product to make and have made for you. If you're looking for a side business and it's something that's actually a business that you don't need a lot of technical education on, you're not trying to build out websites, you're not trying to do affiliate marketing, any of that stuff. All those things are great, don't get me wrong, but you have to have a certain level of understanding of how that works before you can even begin to get going and it takes time for those to make money. This is a physical product that can be made, labeled, shipped out to a retailer or online and you can begin to make money. Now, depending upon how much work you want to put into this, you may make a lot more money than the other guy that's watching this video. So if there's a thousand of you watching this video, 500 of you may be doing a lot of money. You can make a really good living doing this or additional side hustle business. Or the other 500 could just be lazy and think that this runs on autopilot, which it doesn't. Okay. So the last thing you want to know is here's a couple questions. Damien, what about the logo and the label? Well, yes, you can have a logo made on Fiverr for like 20 or 30 bucks, very inexpensively, and then have that PDF file sent over to the hot sauce company where they're going to upload that and they're going to put it onto the label for you. Or the label and the logo, that can actually be made for you by the private label companies. They also have that service available too. So if you say, hey, my name is Damien, I just want to launch a hot sauce. I'm not a graphic designer. I don't know how to create blah, 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 blah. That's great. Hey, Damien, we've got to take it care for you. We'll do it for you. And normally that is about, about an extra hundred bucks. Okay. So how much does all this add up to, Damien? I'll show you. Here it is on the bottom. Unfortunately, you can't see that right there. There it is. That's the grand total. So I'll break it down for you. You've got $200 business license and such. LLC and insurance, you're looking at about 200 for the LLC or so. And you're looking for the first month's insurance for around 40, maybe 50 bucks. $39 to hop on Amazon or eBay. If you do both, then you're looking about $50 to $60. Next up, private label hot sauce. So their first order, by the way, I didn't dive into that. Their minimums are very low. I actually found one of the websites that you can get going for around 200 bucks. 200, okay? Okay, social media and marketing and such, absolutely free because you're gonna do that yourself. You don't need to pay anybody right now up front. When you start to make money, you can hire all the people that you want. Logistics and all that good, FBA. These are fees that are only gonna be based upon when the product sells. That's the beauty of FBA. They don't say, hey, Damien, you want to be part of FBA? It's going to cost you 500 up front. Ship your products to them or a fulfillment center, but it's not FBA. And then as the product sells, then the per unit transaction, when they actually transact and pack it for you and take care of it, that's when you're going to get charged a fee. So you don't have upfront fees with this. And lastly, that's going to add up to around $679. So I'm sorry, I should probably have made it a $700 hot sauce business breakdown. But if you've got a thousand, that gives you a little bit extra money in case some of these vary as far as pricing. But this right here is a step to get a business started for a brand. Spelled it out for you guys. If you guys want some additional information on how to start your own food business as well, check out these videos right here. We're going to have a handful of them pop up here. We've got resources like podcast guys. We have blogs. We have websites. You've got questions on how to start any type of business that's related to food. Let us know in the comments down below. Check out our other food entrepreneur websites here on YouTube. We've got three other channels dedicated to food entrepreneurship to help you out. And guess what? When you subscribe, it's all free, guys. I will see you.